Welcome to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of Indian. In today's video, we will delve into the story of Chandra, the moon, who is one of the Navagrahas, the nine celestial deities in Hindu astrology. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this enchanting journey. Part 1. Birth of Chandra Long ago, in the realm of the gods, there lived a powerful sage named Atri. Atri and his devoted wife, Ansuya, were renowned for their piety and virtue. Their unwavering devotion caught the attention of Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe. Pleased with their devotion, Lord Brahma granted them a boon. The couple humbly requested a child who possessed immense beauty and wisdom. Lord Brahma granted their wish and blessed them with a son, whom they named Buddha. Buddha grew up to become a handsome and intelligent young man. His radiance was unparalleled, and it attracted the attention of the gods and goddesses, including Tara, the beautiful wife of Brihaspati, the guru of the Devas. Tara fell in love with Buddha and could not resist his charm. She soon approached Buddha and convinced him to elope with her, leaving behind Brihaspati, her husband. Part 2. The Curse of Brihaspati Brihaspati, upon discovering Tara's betrayal, was filled with rage and sorrow. He sought the help of Lord Shiva to find Buddha and bring him back. Lord Shiva, with his infinite wisdom, understood the gravity of the situation. Lord Shiva approached Buddha and urged him to return to Brihaspati and reconcile with Tara. But Buddha, blinded by his love for Tara, refused to listen to Lord Shiva's advice. In his anger, Lord Shiva cursed Buddha. He decreed that Buddha would lose his radiance and become a mere reflection of his former self. Buddha pleaded for mercy, and Lord Shiva, moved by his remorse, modified the curse. He declared that Buddha would regain his radiance for 15 days in a month, while for the rest of the time, he would appear as a dim and pale reflection. Part 3. Chandra's Exile and Redemption Buddha, now known as Chandra, was filled with remorse and regret. He realized the gravity of his actions and the pain he had caused Brihaspati and Tara. Overwhelmed with guilt, Chandra decided to go into self-imposed exile. Chandra embarked on a rigorous penance, seeking redemption for his past actions. He sought the blessings of Lord Vishnu and performed intense tapas, or meditation, for thousands of years. Pleased with Chandra's devotion and penance, Lord Vishnu appeared before him and granted him a boon. He decreed that Chandra would become one of the Navagrahas, the celestial deities, and would govern the tides, emotions, and the monthly lunar cycle. Part 4. The Significance of Chandra Chandra, the moon, holds great significance in Hindu and astrology. He is believed to influence our emotions, desires, and mental well-being. The phases of the moon, from the waxing crescent to the full moon and the waning crescent, are associated with the ebb and flow of our emotions. Chandra is also associated with the deity Shiva, the lord of destruction and regeneration. Shiva is often depicted with a crescent moon adorning his forehead, signifying the harmony between the mind, body, and soul. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the enchanting story of Chandra, the moon, the second Navagraha. Chandra's tale serves as a reminder of the consequences of our actions and the path to redemption through devotion and penance. We hope you enjoyed this video and gained a deeper understanding of the significance of Chandra in Hindu. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from Indian. Until next time, stay blessed and keep exploring the mystical realms of ancient tales.